Hi. <laughs> We've already watched this. All right. Hi, I'm Deepika, founder of Pattern Review, and today I have a special guest. Hi. Laura, no, also from Pattern Review. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm, you are I'm a I'm the second guest. member of Pattern Review. Yes. Well, not member. We're, it's just the two of us. Just um, the two of us. And, and here we are in the Pattern Review office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is podcast episode number 10. Yes. So... I think I started doing this last year around this time. So in one year, I gave you nine, well, this is the 10th now, uh, podcast. But I will tell you that for today's episode, um, I'm fulfilling a promise to a friend, Jennifer Stern. She's also a master teacher on Pattern Review. She encouraged me to go back to YouTube and... Mm -hmm. um, talk about pattern review, talk about sewing, and anything which is exciting. And uh, so here I am. Um, and here I am. Here is Laura. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are um, going to talk about what we do best, pattern review. Pattern review. All right. That's so doing. that's what we do best. Um, in today's episode, we will talk about what happened uh, in the last week and okay. some call to action from you guys like voting and things like that for the contest yeah. but um before we go into it let us know in the comments below if you missed us yay because we're needy like that <laughs> um, and um also i got a nice haircut yesterday yes and i thought so i'd be beautiful Thank you. I and I that. That's like, the first that when she walked in this morning, I she was all disheveled, and I was like, "Oh my god, I love your new haircut." Even though I only got three hours of sleep last night, yeah, but I have a so nice cool. haircut, and so I thought I'd be uh, original and um, film a video because nobody ever does that. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever films a video when they've had a haircut yes. or take a car selfie, which I did not take. <sighs> So yeah, here I am That's being original. Time. Yeah, <laughs> last time I got my hair cut, I did a car selfie. And that yeah. was over a year and a half yeah. ago. I think part of the reason we do these things is because we want to stay in the game and don't forget yeah. about it. We both That's have true. daughters. Oh, so. we do. We do. So yes, yeah. We do. Um, all right, so we babbled enough. Let's get to the point. I have notes and everything. I turned off things so it Jeez. wouldn't be... Uh, disturbing as background noise yes but if it happens so, so be it. it we have so a good friend it. steve here who yeah, he's with, always busy busy so. yeah he works with guitars so you may hear some musical notes and mm -hmm. uh yeah okay so um what should we start with should we start with Let's start with what our, you're wearing yeah our wardrobe essentials yes, yes. Yeah. so uh, many of you know that Laura writes our blog post, and she's awesome. And uh, yesterday, or was it day before, we published one on cardigans. Mm -hmm. And we were that both so excited to see such lovely excited. comments from you all. Yes, it and, definitely uh, touched us. Well, thank you. you thank know, you so much. It can be a little bit isolating, um, you know, putting out all that content and yeah. you work really hard. Laura works really hard at producing those blog posts. So it's really nice to hear some uh, good feedback. Yep. And I'm going to uh, let you talk a little bit about what went into creating that blog post uh, about cardigan patterns. I think there are 12 mm -hmm. of them, right? Or more? There were 12. I put a few men's at the end. So I want to say maybe maybe 14, no, she, maybe more than that. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she'll keep on adding. Because oh, there's yeah. so many there wonderful are. cardigan there patterns. Are. And we are transitioning into fall, which is my favorite season. Yep, yep. Well, what happened was I looked back and we wanted to do some sort of, um, we were calling it Project Highlights, Project, yeah. Project um, what are they? It, it, so we decided it is a staple for your mm -hmm. wardrobe. Why not? We're going to rename it Wardrobe Essentials. So uh, cardigans are definitely like one of the number one wardrobe essentials, especially going into colder weather. Absolutely. Or transitioning from any 
colder to warmer, warmer to colder, you name it. Um, they are the number one transition heaters. Absolutely, and I think um, a lot of us work even in the summertime in air conditioned offices or mm -hmm. homes or. Oh, look, um, I mean. That's right. I mean, you wear cardigans a lot. A lot. And a I lot. only started wearing cardigans like maybe a couple of years ago. So yeah. um, I think they're a great transition piece, like year round, to be honest, but in the fall, we need just that extra yes. month or so to keep layer. wearing. Yeah. yeah, to keep wearing our summer clothes and just throw on a cardigan. Oh, yeah. I mean, under. I have a short sleeve shirt on under here, and what is it, 50s this morning? I haven't been out the rest of the day, but I'm sure it's warmer now. But yeah, Anyways. so it, um, those are patterns. All of the patterns in that article are current, not discontinued. They're also the patterns we uh, sell on Pattern Review, yeah. so you can buy them either through uh, in paper form or we can print it's them print, for you. Digital. Some of them are digital, yeah. some of them, and then Actually, we also you also digital. you did a great job throwing in all different uh, pattern companies in there. And yeah, there's yeah. a wide variety, variety of size yes. ranges and styles. Yes. I try not to like you know just one it. company. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, no. um, yeah, so what I did was we had created a blog post, I want to say four and a half years ago. I was ago. just thinking that my husband's calling and, um, <laughs> okay, so my husband was calling and I was okay. trying to decline the call and yes. I answered it, then I unanswered it. I don't know what happened. Kicked us but, off. <laughs> so we're back. All right, you're saying about so, cardigans. Yes, cardigans. Um, we had an old blog post from four years ago that I realized none of those um, patterns were available anymore. Mm -hmm. They were that it was that old, and we have had that many changes um, and that many new additions. So I just went through. I, you know, I did what anyone of you can do: go into our search engine, put in cardigans, and voila. <laughs> what came and up? So many. And like oh, all of so your many. reviews. So many. Oh, goodness. I mean, inspiration galore on pattern mm -hmm. reviews. Yes. Right? Inspiration so. galore. And well, I noticed a couple of years ago we had a um, cardigan uh, sewing bee. That's so right. There was a That's lot right. to choose from. Um, so. Yeah, I think that's where I went from there. I picked the ones with the most reviews, and that's what's on top, and got rid of the ones that we didn't have, yeah. you know, that went out of yeah. print and discontinued. Yeah, so please and check it out. Have, I'll include yeah. all of the links um, down below in the show description. There's a little box, depending on how you're watching it, either on the computer or yep. the phone. There'll be a little show more thing, and then you can mm -hmm. drop it down. Um, yeah, we're very goosey goosey here. <laughs> but I'll include all the links so you won't miss anything. Yes. And uh, or you yes. can always go to our blog and just it'll be there. Yep. So it's good that you mentioned contest because this we can transition into our mini wardrobe contest, yes. which just ended. Yep. And today is the ninth. So you have two days to vote two for more the, days. A full days. Yeah, two yeah. full days to vote for uh, five uh, favorite uh, mini wardrobes and this was really some great wardrobes oh, might even give you your ideas yeah so yeah. um yeah this was mini wardrobe was uh how many five pieces i think two mm -hmm. tops two bottoms mm -hmm. and one sewist choice yep Either jacket cardigan anything yep I'm obsessed with cardigans it's gonna I come know. out every five minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's vote so in the mini wardrobe contest uh, uh, all you have to do is just click down below or yep. just go to our blog and uh, okay. yeah people work so hard and thank you to threads magazine for sponsoring this contest um yeah yeah so what, what is going which contest is going on right now do you remember laura i think it's the um, is it cosplay cosplay <gasps> first ever cosplay contest Yay. we're so excited and i have to share this little tidbit with you the graphic of the cosplay contest was designed by Dia, my 11-year-old in-house artist. And um, yeah, so 
It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. I to, I'm just a proud mom. Yes. She, um, she should be. She interned for Pattern Review this yeah, summer. Yeah, this summer. So much fun working with her. Yeah, she, she did her. actual work this she time. She did. <laughs> um, yeah, mm -hmm. all of you moms out there, I know you, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get what... If you, my eyes just brighten up when I talk about her. Yes. <laughs> I love to get into the tween, like... Yes. <laughs> the lingo and the... Yeah. What's so down. cosplay contest. Yes. Oh. Cosplay yeah, I know. I, I hope you enter. If you're a cosplayer, if you know someone who is a cosplayer, um, do enter. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I know. This is going to be so much fun. I know. <laughs> um, what else? What else do we have going on next week? We have two classes, actually. Yeah. Um, Monday is... Oh, i got to show you this. Should I... What they call it? Unbox it. I want to do it. Oh, we are it. doing the desert landscape uh, class with yeah. Melissa Galbraith and I. Um, so you can still buy the kit because the class is on Monday. You can still buy the kit. It won't arrive in time for the class, but you will get the video. Ooh. And so this is the this is what the kit looks like. And you can buy it from our website, M Creative J. And she, Melissa is such a patient teacher. And so I am looking forward to stitching with you all. And should I have left this? So yeah, the kit contains everything you need for the oh, class. Box of plums. Okay. <laughs> okay, I feel like such a tool right now doing unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, it's like a little TikTok. Yeah, it's a TikTok. <laughs> okay, so this, it, it comes with everything. Um, oh, and I bought, cute. yeah, I bought two pins. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll make one for myself and another one will be a gift to a friend. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, so uh, if you want to join the class, I'll include a link down below. That's Monday, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. And on Tuesday, we have the faux fur collar class with Kenneth King. Oh, love it. Um, and then you have to go. Can you stay for a little bit or? Um, I have to go because okay. I have to catch my son's soccer game. The first, uh, actually, yeah, I went yesterday. Um, All right. I will see so, you on Monday. Yes. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you guys later. This is so goofy. And it's so it's it's like we're keeping it real. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move this closer so um, it's just me now. Yeah, so the desert landscape class and uh, Kenneth King's full for color class. That one is on Tuesday. And um, if you've ever taken a class with Kenneth King before, you know how much fun they are and um, and it's very timely, just a little uh, collar. I always learn best by actually baking and doing things, and that's why uh, this class is gonna be super fun. So here's the guitar. <laughs> I hope you like guitars. Okay, um, what am I forgetting? I actually wrote notes, because otherwise I'll keep on talking. Oh, let's talk about uh, the pop-ups, yes. Who, if you haven't seen um, the pop-up contest on Pattern Review, let me give you a little background on that. So in October of last year, a member Sewing Summer on Pattern Review came up with this idea of uh, a pop-up sew along. You know, those pop-up shops are temporary, just little pop-ups, right? They, they come and they go. So the idea behind this sew along is everyone will sew on a theme for just that month. And then people will write reviews and it's just very loose, no rules. And then um, by the end of that month, someone who has participated in that sew along will come up with an idea for next month's sew along. And then this process will go over uh, again. And I, love this idea it's so fun and since October they've been there there have has not been a month which has been missed and uh, so much so that I created a graphic for it it's 
absolutely wonderful. I hope you do check it out. This month's uh, sew along is pinhole. What a clever name, right? Um, anything which makes a little pinhole, either it's leather, vinyl, uh, faux leather, what else, cork, um, craft text, I think that's what it's called. So this is a great idea um, to join if you want to just experiment a little bit. Yeah, plus they're so fun. Um, okay, so that is going on September, right? So that's September's so along. All you have to do is just start posting on the forums and so along with the rest of the members. Um, do I cover everything? I think I have. Um, pretty much have. Okay. I actually wanted to do end this with a quick reminder. Um, ASDP, um, Association of Sewing and Design Professionals, is our platinum sponsor this month. And they are hosting their yearly educational conference this year in Baltimore, Maryland on October 18th and members or non-members are welcome. So do check it out and I hope you'll attend. The theme this year is sustainability, your choice, I think. Um, but I know it's, it's on sustainability. This is a topic which is very close to my heart. And honestly, if I uh, wasn't busy those days exactly, I would absolutely be there. So, um, it's not just for design professionals, it's for people who sew for fun as well. There's some great classes, great speakers. And um, I think because of COVID, the last two years were probably not in-person conferences. So this is a great way to um, meet with other sewists. And if you are a business owner, sewing or design professional, this will be a great way to do some networking also. But yeah, that's all I had for today. I just hope that uh, this format sticks and I'm able to do this video podcast uh, somewhat regularly, I hate to promise. But Jennifer, if you are watching this, this is for you. Thank you for encouraging me and thank you to all of you who use Pattern Review every day who buy classes from us and who most importantly learn from those classes because we are truly committed for uh, to sewing education. And if you're learning a skill that is so rewarding, this platform is for everybody who loves to sew. And um, thank you for watching and um, I will see you next time. Bye.